Well, uh, in the fridge we've got some champagne. We've got this. If the rig works today, then the, my staff will be drinking this, all the people that have worked on the project. And uh, it's a breakthrough because we are uh, running this rig for the first time at a scale which is industrial, so 10 tonnes, 12 tonnes per annum. We demonstrated this new design at bench scale, which is grams per hour. We've run this uh, larger rig at about a tonne per annum, but uh, this is a 10 times scale up, so it's a real breakthrough because a lot of the people that we'd like to work with and make materials for, uh, one tonne isn't enough. We were trying to think of a, a name which encapsulates what the rig does, so it is mainly supercritical water, Swing is supercritical water in nanomaterial generation. It's not a great acronym, but most proposals when you put them in have to have a, something that you remember. Do you actually call it swing amongst yourselves when you're referring to it? No, uh, this one we call the big pig. And the reason why we call it the big pig is that uh, on predictive text, if you try this, uh, if you type in big rig, it doesn't think it's going to be big rig, it, it suggests big pig instead. This is a precursor, so this is uh, iron nitrate. It's got lots of uh, water molecules attached to it as well, but it's, uh, it's essentially the precursor for making iron oxide. Um, or it's nano rust is what we're making. So it doesn't sound very sophisticated, but we make the finest nano rust in the world. Uh, at least I'd like to think so. It, it's 50-50, it I think, whether there's a problem. And, and the problems will almost certainly be small, niggly problems like um, uh, a pipe leaking or something. It's not, I don't, I'm, I've got total confidence in the process, but um, I'm not entirely sure. When, when you do things like this live, then there's always a potential for the small things to get in the way. Success is that we'll have a pipe at the end of the rig and out of there will be flowing uh, nanomaterials and we'll know because of the colour. So we, we know the colour of the, uh, the precursors that go in, the metal salts that go into the system. Uh, they're converted to nanoparticles and the colour changes. So if it comes out red, then we're in business. If it comes out orange, not so good. Well, oh, here we go. There we go. Success! It's a bit dilute at the moment. What it will do is change to red. Okay, so what that is, is it's uh, iron oxide, it's just hematite, and uh, its particle size is about five nanometers. Um, so you can see it's a ready solution. I mean, what went in before was orange. So if it's not working, because we're diluting it down as well, you just get a, light, a really light orange. But you can see this is coming out um, dark red, and that means that we've got um, five nanometer iron oxide particles in there. And you can see from the flow rates that we're, uh, we're working at here that uh, it's a fair amount coming through. This is a good tech. We always run with this material to start with, uh, just for tradition. So we always run with hematite because it's obviously it's got a good colour and we know it's working. But uh, the interesting thing there is you can see the flow rates. We could probably manufacture the kind of uh, uh, the, the world needs for MRI contrast agents here um, in, uh, in a probably about uh, a day. <laughs> So uh, I'll have to do my calculations, but there are other material, other needs for this uh, this kind of uh, nanomaterial where you know we can manufacture all year long and provide uh, for other suppliers. With there's cosmetics and so on that uh, would probably use a system of this size for its year's needs. Okay, okay, it's right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.